All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the show. Good morning. It's Sunday morning here in Florida, and uh, I'm just having my breakfast. Got here uh, with them Jimmy Dean croissant sandwiches and some Cuban coffee. Damn, that's good. All right. So, this morning I woke up and uh, checked my YouTube as I usually do. And there's a, 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 a comment there from somebody. And I'll read it to you guys. It's an interesting comment, to say the least. Um, I'm going to say more about it, but let's read the comment. So, I got it exactly. Oh, where's my alerts? Here we go. All right, so Gen C commented after watching one of my videos it doesn't take this long to decide what race shows in space you want oh my god and that got me thinking um so i responded obviously i responded that um you know if there's a faster way i would love to know it so that's what i want to explore today um i said i built nearly 400 tunes if there's a faster way it definitely helped me out making these videos so that's what i'd like to find out today is there a faster way to to pick these gears um i don't think so but i could be wrong you know um gen c says that there is and um uh, i suspect he's done some research in this so um, I, maybe, maybe there is but I, I don't see how you're gonna know where to just I, I don't know how to make it any faster than it is so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna tune this new um porsche 356 rsr and if anybody has any input on how we can make it faster than what I'm actually doing, that would be great. I would love that. So, welcome back, Aussie. Welcome back to me. Uh, welcome back to you if you're uh, coming back to the show. Thanks for watching again. If you're new to the show, welcome to the show. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate you. I thank Gen Z for his comment. Uh, thank you, Gen Z, for the comment, uh, for the inspiration for this video as well. I do hope to find a faster way to do the tuning. I mean, if we can find a faster way to do the tuning, it would certainly help. Um, it would save me a ton of time. I could send more time driving than less time tuning. So, um, but I do tune. The, the, that is the reason that I tune. Uh, for this is this is the reason that I tune as well. The reason that I tune and spend so much time tuning is so you don't have to. Um, so there's there's that. Just putting that out there as well. So let's find this new Porsche. Porsche, Porsche, there she is, 356 RSR, I got a bunch of these, ah, it's cheap, I would hope it was going to be like a million dollar, five million dollar Porsche or something, but it's not, 250 grand, that's okay, that's fine, 1960 RSR Emery Motorsport Porsche, uh, we're going to let it spin about in Forza Vista for a minute while I finish my breakfast sandwich. I'm sure you don't want to hear that. So check out the Porsche with me. Um, if anybody shows up, I'm in the chat as well. So you can say what's up there. Hello, I'm in the chat. So I'll be right back. Just check out the Porsche. Alright, that is a good looking car. And I'm done with my breakfast sandwich. I'm still drinking my Cuban coffee. If you don't know what Cuban coffee is, let me let me let me enlighten you. So um uh, I lived in Key West for a while and uh down there they drink you can get Cuban coffee pretty much anywhere. 
And uh, I used to drink it. And I drink cream coffee. Like, man, that's really good. That's some good ass coffee. So came back home. Well, I live in Florida, but not in Key West anymore. And uh, I can't find Cuban coffee here where I live. So uh, I find I finally uh, went to Tampa. Like I live near Tampa. Went to Tampa, and there's a uh, you know just Cuban places down there. And I was like, hey man, I want Cuban coffee. So they enlightened me. Cuban coffee is essentially it's espresso. Uh, with sugar that's all it is so you, you make a big ass cup of espresso and well you make a big ass pot of espresso really and then you pour the espresso on top of some sugar and mix up the sugar and then you pour more espresso on top of the sugar you're supposed to like pour a bunch of sugar into a bottom of a cup pour a little bit of espresso on top of it and like mix it up so it's like a simple sugar made with coffee uh, like a simple syrup made with coffee and then pour the rest of your coffee onto it but I don't know if that makes, maybe that there's a reason you do it that way, but I don't see any difference in just pouring the whole thing in there and just mixing it, but whatever. I do it the way I'm told to do because it's part of the um, ritual, the, the coffee ritual. I do it like I'm supposed to do. And you can tell that the coffee is working because I've had about half a glass of espresso and I am pumped. So let's get into it. Uh, this is the 1960 Porsche 356 RSR from Emery something or another. Let me get my pad. <clears throat> I hope someone shows up with some input on how to do this faster. I, I don't know if there is a faster way to do it. I really don't. But I'm going to discuss what I think as we go through this tune. All right, so 1960. I have a really awesome pen. 1960 Porsche 356 RS R from damn, that's a long ass name from Emory. And I can't see what it says after Emory because that's where it shows what I'm broadcasting. So we'll just figure that out later. Oh shit. I hear something in my kitchen. Did I forget to turn something off? Nope. Everything looks good over here. Is it rain? Oh, it's raining outside. It's fucking pouring. That's what I hear. Alright. So, let's get into the custom upgrades. I like to go all-wheel drive. Um, I have this thing's it's light, two thousand pounds. Maybe we can make this an S1 class car. Added weight with this motor here. Takes down your lateral G's a little bit, so I'm gonna stick with the stock motor and make it lighter than it is already. Let's check out the tires. One eight one two six. One one eight one two six. Yeah, it's a pretty good upgrade there in the um So I'm definitely gonna put the race tires on there. I just don't know if we're gonna be able to keep this at S1 now. I like the all blacks. Keep this one simple looking. We're gonna push them out wider, of course. And if you watch my videos and uh, you know why I tune the way I tune, so I, I care more about the lateral G's than I do about most other things. Look at that. That's fucking perfect. I mean, so it's such bullshit that that little piece of fin puts that much downforce on there to make that much better but man we're we're gonna accept it 
We go from 118 to 121, 126 to 136 uh, lateral Gs. And what that is, is uh, forces working sideways against you at that speed. Which is great, 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 great. We'll take it. And that's even more. Um, let's see, 122, 142. If you're going fast, you're going to want to be able to do it for sure. So I'm going to go ahead and use it. Now, let's see. Oh, we got to get the transmission for sure, for sure. Oh, so there is one thing that this guy might actually be right about. So there is a way that you can kind of skip this, okay? So this is one thing that I did learn. Let's see if it'll work. So your stock transmission, right? <clears throat> 25584 um, to the race transmission, 235931. So what you could do is you could go and look at what gears you have now at the stock transmission. And I don't know if it's a good good example of this one. Um, sometimes you'll go from your stock to your race transmission and it'll drop you down acceleration and other things. So what you can do is you can go look at the, the gears from your stock transmission, the final drive ratio, and then when go look at the race transmission with the final drive trans the ratio is afterward. And um, sometimes you'll end up putting the final drive or the you'll end up putting the race transmission back to where the stock transmission started so let's take a look at that um before we go any further uh, maybe that's what he's talking about let's let's find out so here we have the stock transmission in i'm going to go look to the right down to find what the what the gearing is here So the stock gearing is 410s. All right, so 410. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go back and we're going to put the race transmission in, and we'll start at 410. Is where we're going to start at when we start tuning this motor, and see if we can't get see if that's the best position to be in. Rally springs, no, thank you. Um, Yeah, I'm definitely going to do that for the little bit that it gave me. Uh, I took off some weight as well. And we're not going to get to do much here. So let's take a look. Well, maybe I'm wrong. Let's put as much as we can in, huh? What I'm doing is I'm putting in things that take off weight. And this makes the motor bigger. Oof, just barely going to be able to get it or not. Dang it. All right, so we're going to put that on. We're going to do individual start checking from um, here. So I want the bigger motor. So this takes it from a 2.4 to a 2.6 liter. All right, so this at 98, 898, 2356, 898, 23. Five six. I have a feeling we're gonna be able to get much better than that. Hold on a second. Two three two eight five six. Two three five seven at eight ninety seven. Two three five seven. Two three four three five seven seven three at eight ninety four. We're gonna take that for sure. Might skip this one. Takes a lot of weight off. Two three five six seven at eight ninety eight. Oh, that's what I'm going to do. Shit. Sorry about this. I'm going to not upgrade the engine size until afterward. Where are we at? Right. It's done. That's done. This is not done. This is done. 
So the ones that I'm doing right now are, dang you, I was going to say I'm doing the ones right now, 2295582. I was going to do the ones now that just take weight off. And then 2315598. So what I want is some combination of these ones that remove the weight, get as fast as, um, it's really, you're splitting hairs at this point, 229-5582, two, two, five, five, two. it's pretty good, it's the first time we hit a two twos and stayed under the nine cap. Looks like that's going to be the setup. Uh, it's, what is it? This one here? Nope. This one here. And we got a 2355. Five. Two, two, five, five. Yeah, that's the one. Alright, so that's the setup. Um, and obviously we're going to do the gears from there. What the hell? 2255, 2299-5582. We change this, it goes backwards. We're not going to do that then, huh? All right. So the other place that we can get some of this weight off is here in the rims. Oh, shit. I just forgot to do this. Yep. I can imagine the comment Gen Z has for me now that I'm taking this much time to look at this. Two two nine nine five five eight two. One two three one four three. I'm going to go ahead and put that in there, even though it doesn't change anything, just because it should. Alright, so this is going to be the the 900 setup that we got. you got to give me one minute, I'll be right back, and then we'll get into the gearing.
All right. Sorry about that. Let's get back into the tune here. Now. So I have another idea as well that I want to get into here. I'm going to issue a challenge to any um, Forza Twitchers, anybody that tunes and makes videos on Twitch or YouTube. And uh, what I want to do is do some pinks racing in Forza. So uh, right now I want to issue a challenge to anybody who makes videos and tunes on Forza that wants to do some pinks racing against me. Um, what we'll do is we'll pick a car and we'll, or we'll pick a class and we'll pick a cap and you have to make a tune or download a tune, whatever you want, and then we'll pick a place to race. But you have to be streaming so you can show that your car falls under the cap and then we'll do a legit race and then the winner gets the other person's car, so. All right, so back to this. The question was, because this morning I got a, I got a comment on one of my videos from a dude named Jensen that says, there's a faster way to do this gearing. And I, I don't know what it is, um, but I've done almost 400 of these. And I know that if you don't look through the entire, um, through the entire setup here, that you could miss a sweet spot. And I don't know how you would pick it any faster. So if anybody has any idea how we can make this faster, that's great. There is one um, technique that I've seen that I've used in the past. And what it is, is when you see that, you, you look at the, the gears that the car comes in before you upgrade the transmission, and then you can set your final drive to that and see if that works. So this car starts at four tens. I've upgraded the transmission and now it's got 370s in it. So 370s, I'm going to write this down. 370s run a 228, no, no, 2299 and a 5, 582 at 181.7. If anybody knows what this dude was saying is the faster way to do it, I would love to do it. Because like I said, I've got about... 400 of these tunes that I've made and anything that could make it go faster would be great But as far as I know, this is the only way to do it um, And here at four tens Well, it's certainly not that because we lost a lot of time zero to 60 the zero to 100 time Did go down five five three five um, But the top speed went down uh, as well zero to 60 time went up top speed or zero to 100 went down barely 5582 to 5535 and then top speed went from 180 to 170 so I don't know <clears throat> I don't know uh, what the guy was talking about so let's just do it the typical way that we do it and if anybody knows a faster way please come in and let me know the faster way to do it um, so here we go I would say that for this tune the proper way to go um, let's think it's a big motor. We're probably going to go to the left, I would think. This one could go either way. This discharge is right there where you kind of want it to look like in the end. So it could be pretty good where it's at. We're going to find out, though. So I'm trying to make the 5582 go down. That's the goal. Five two nine seven. I suppose you could just stop right there and start fucking with the rest of the gears and then that would be faster but I like to be thorough and make sure that there is no uh, there isn't another better spot here but uh, 330 is a good spot to start from if you want to go fast that's the first sweet spot we came to to the left you run a five two nine seven zero to 100 you could just go here and adjust the first gear and try and get that 229 down and it'll probably bring that 5297 down as well. But uh, I'm going to check the rest of the gears just to make sure we're not missing anything. 5297 is now the number to beat. And it was about 325. That's what we're we looking for again. And there we got 5122. So if you stopped at 325, then you definitely missed out. I mean, I don't know what this guy means. I mean, somebody, I wish, I hope somebody knows. What was it five three thirty, five two nine seven? Yeah, if you stopped there, you did good, right? You went from five five to five two, but if you kept moving down the line and checked again, like I do, 
came into another one, a better sweet spot here at 310, where you're written a 5-1. So this is the reason I go through all of the, the all of the options. Um, but that doesn't mean I'm, there isn't a, a better way to do it. There might be. That's, that's the point of having this video. Uh, if anybody knows a better way to do this, holler at me. Let me know what's up. Uh, save me some time in my videos. The fastest way that I would know to do it was be have a video editor come back through and edit my videos down to make them shorter. Um, but you can always skip through on YouTube as well. I spend a lot of time making the videos and making the tunes. Um, so uh, I mean, not that I, I won't, I wouldn't like to edit my videos. I would love to edit my videos. It's just you know, I, I have limited time. There we go. We got another five one at two forty five. My wife wouldn't like if I'm spending more hours than I already am. I spend a lot of hours doing this. I try to spend a couple hours a day making tunes. That's how I got the 400. So, okay, so three, 245. Let's figure out what's there. 245 is a uh, 5170. Five one seven zero, and then three. What was the other one? Three thirty or three forty, something like that. One two two, so five one two two at three ten is better. Three ten is five one two two, two forty five is five one seven zero, and we're gonna keep going through it to the right as well, just to make sure we don't miss anything. Five one two two is the number to beat so far. Excuse me, it's pretty clear we're going in the wrong direction, but I have seen it jump back. So yeah, if you're uh, if you're interested in pink racing, hit me up. I would love to pink race against some other um, some other content makers whether you be on YouTube or Twitch or whatever it um, and the reason I want it to be a content maker is I think it would be good for everyone's channel my channel your channel um, that people could see hey this is the tune that I'm running or um, it could be something that people could watch on both channels is the thing and want to be able to make sure that if we're pinking especially for pinking for like high money cars that everybody is on the same playing field that you're using uh, that I'm not gonna race an S1 against an X-Class you know what I mean so that's why I want both sides to be broadcasting uh, that would be fun that way more fun that way for sure I would think <clears throat> then you could also get live reaction both person the winner and loser uh, it could be a really a lot of fun the only thing that you'd have to figure out is how do we exchange the cars afterward you know what I mean that's the tricky part. Forza makes that a bit difficult. I mean, I've got plenty of money um, to throw around to get the cars from the auction house. But, yeah, it looks like we're not going to catch another one here. So, uh, and that's that. All right, so the numbers was 
310, 310, and 245. I'm going to look at the 310 real quick. I think that's probably good enough. 2151, and then 245. Yeah, we're going to go with the 310s. Start there. Wiggle a bit. Oof, look at that. 309 is better than 310. We're going to go with the rightmost one that has this. 2094, 5107. How did I not see that? We went at 315 once and I missed it. 2109, 5122. 2094. So that's it. 315 is 2094. 2.094. 5107 at 179.9 and let's change some individual gears here I wish Gen C was here to tell me how to do this faster like I'm serious this isn't me being a smart ass like if there's a faster way I want to know how to do it looks like going to the right that is is a dead end starts at 289 Oh yeah, or I should write these numbers down. See, a lot of these times when you upgrade the transmission, these numbers are the same. There's only a couple different ones that I've run into, probably three, two, eight, nine, one, nine, nine, one, four, nine, one, one, six, nine, four, and point eight seven, or point seven eight. There's only like four, three different ones that I've run into that I've noticed. So uh, Let's go to the left here. Two zero nine four five one zero seven. Yeah. Okay. So it looks like that's as good as it's going to get. First gear. Let's check second gear. Two zero nine four five one zero seven. Any improvement would be good. Two zero nine four. We're getting worse. Five one zero seven. Now I went back to the right of one ninety nine, and we're getting a little faster. Zero to a hundred. Five zero nine one might be the fastest we're going to get there. Two zero nine four five zero nine one. We're going to keep working to the right just to see what happens. 20945091. is faster. Alright, so. It's the first 2091 we hit, right? So from 199, we want to hit the first 2079. Okay, now let's see if we can get this down five zeros again. 2095091. Let's see if we can get it lower than that, huh? Two zero seven nine five zero seven five. Five zero five nine. Yes, we're getting and we're going the right direction. All right, so I don't think <clears throat> two zero seven nine two zero five or five zero five nine. I think that's probably going to be it. We're, we're not going to see any differences here. Fourth year is probably already past a hundred. So the only thing we can do is make it worse overall. So I'm going to leave.
this gear the same probably let's take a look fourth gear fourth gear fourth gear should be 116 one two three four yeah 116 so let's just go to the right of 116 yeah I don't think we're gonna change anything here okay so we'll put that back at 116 and we're gonna only thing we're gonna change here is this top gear 179.9 we should be able to get that to at least 181.7 Five. All right, so that's the setup I would use. It tries to keep the curve the way it's supposed to look. And it ends where we want it to end. Uh, that just your shifting should stay between the proper RPMs, and that's what that line represents. The bottom is the lower RPMs, the top is the higher red line. Um, so looks pretty good there, and so the best times we can get. So um, the zero to sixty here is going to be two zero seven nine, and we started at two two. 99 nine, I believe 2289 or 2299 my handwriting is shit 2079 from 2289 we'll call it and then 0 to 100 we ended up at 5059 and that dropped from 5582 that's great almost a half a second over a half a second faster 0 to 100 and then the top speed of 182.5 and from 181.7 and uh, there's a faster way to do it man I would love to know it but as long as that took I'm supremely happy with the results half second faster 0 to 100 um, it's worth uh, how long have I been recording 40 some minutes I've been recording so uh, a lot of that was just me bullshitting uh, and taking a break there for a second drinking some coffee eating my breakfast letting the video get warmed up so that's the um, Porsche 356 from Emory and I'm gonna go so you don't have to waste your time doing all that I'm gonna save the setup and it's gonna be called race we're gonna call it s1 race gears s1 race tuning s1 race tune s1 race tune is this name the save file it says name save file and it's S1 race tune and then the description keyword one is going to be all around keyword two is going to be good all around and the description is going to be by still an FAC live on Twitch and we're gonna share that so there you go if you want it that's where you can use it right here it's called the s1 race tune by Ozzy Mendez 3630 um, the description is by still an FAC live on twitch it's a public tune that you can 
download and use. And when you download the tune, it does the gears for you. I didn't realize that. I thought you had to put the gears in yourself. I don't know why I thought that, but I was wrong. Um, once you download the tune and, and load it, it's got all the gears put in there the way I have them. So that's that. Uh, let's go drive it around, give it some racing. I'm going to leave it just the way it is as far as the paint job. Drive it around a bit and then I'm going to take it into some online racing to see how it how it fares. Which I suspect is going to be just fine. I mean it's really lightweight. It should have pretty good handling. We've got a lot of downforce from the arrow so All right, let's get right into it. Do some online racing. Uh, let's check out the message center, huh? Four downloads, zero likes for uses. All right, so we want to go some live racing. Let's see how that goes. Online adventure, quick play. I'm gonna go custom adventures. I want to do. Road Racing Series S1, free roam off, and confirm. Let's find some racing. And right now what I need to do is turn on streamer mode, which has to be turned on every single time, which is so ridiculous. But it's what it is, so. S1 summer racing and roads. It's perfect. We'll figure out if this car's any good for sure. Dang, that coffee is kicking in. I need to stop drinking that coffee.
Seems nice. Somebody needs to put them windshield wipers on. With the downforce that I put on this car, you give up some of the top speed um, to be able to turn properly, not properly, be able to turn fast, which is proper, which is proper for sure, but yeah. So without all the downforce upgrades that I put on here, you might be able to get uh, you know a faster top end out of it, but you know I was I'm willing I'm always willing to sacrifice top end to top speed for faster speed through the turns just I'll always do that you know unless you're racing on something like this it's the only time it's gonna bite you in the ass obviously if I was racing against someone down this highway I'm gonna get smoked um, nine out of ten times I'm not gonna be racing down this highway though especially in an online race what's going on here event complete so uh, still waiting to join the next event I suspect I had to look at my where I'm streaming and I'm watching the stream on my phone that's where I can chit chat with anybody who wants to say hello because um, I can't read anything in the middle of the screen basically that's where the broadcast information is how long I've been streaming how many people are watching whether my microphone's on or off and whether my camera's on and off i don't have a camera so it's never on i mean i do i have plenty of cameras probably but none for the xbox um i'm not sure if i'd want to be filmed not that it, it just i don't know just always a lot going on here in my house uh just filming i don't have somewhere where i can film and it'd be like I live in a small apartment, just my wife and the dog here, but yeah, I don't have like a dedicated space that I could stream in to worry about, you know, privacy for other people. Man, that coffee is strong. Yeah, that's exactly what I was talking about. <laughs> What's up, guy? How are you doing? Uh, hi. Oh shit, my bad. Sorry. Oh shit. Ha <laughs> Oh, nice. That's fun. get into some racing what I call 
coffee is good. Bumper cars. Hey! What's up, man? Nice car. The fucking front door just opened up. Like a storm going on outside my front door just opened. I guess it was never closed. Let's get that closed. Why aren't we racing? go finally into some racing like um what do they call those things that babies sit in car seats uh, car seat looks like a car seat that's funny i really like this car it looks cool hope it's fast enough to race competitively in um obviously it's not going to be competitive in the straights uh, other people are going to beat me in the straights for sure but if there's enough turns in the track might be able to keep it a good race so uh, as soon as the fucking race gets loaded find out this is the 1960 Porsche 356 RSR from Emery something the fucking lunchtime for this race starts man I need a video editor. If anybody's watching this channel and they know of a good video editing software to use that I can use on Twitch or YouTube, that would be great. Um, definitely like to edit out some of this bullshit sections that are just wasted time. And in the YouTube studio app, I don't think there's a good editor. You can clip off like a section of the front and the back, but you can't like clip out a section in the middle and add them together excuse me as far as I know I haven't found a way to trim out a section in the middle and paste the two together it's basically you can only trim out from the left and right and then whatever is in the middle is what you have uh, I think that's all I've been able to figure out so far so if anybody knows any good editing software that would be keen it would be cool if you let me know And what the fuck is taking so long? I 
can't even like back out of this menu. We're just like sitting here. Let's look to see if I have any other S2 tunes, S1 tunes right here next to me. I've got plenty of tunes written in this book. Let's just flip through them. See if I can find something comparable to this car. 1961 Tipo Birdcage. Uh, Runs a 159736 at 229. I hope that's not an S1 tune because it's going to smoke this car. 15973686. Nine, 1961 Tipo Birdcage. Hey, finally. Finally. Hey, good luck, everybody. Took forever to get into here. What's up, Sub Zero? Didn't mean to bump into you back there. Alright, let's go. Bang. Dang, this bitch is slow, huh? Long streets are gonna murder this car, so let's... Let's hope that the next track doesn't have these streets on it. Jesus. Man, this thing is fucking completely slow compared to those. It was starting off pretty decent. Was able to, like, get through some people in the turns. But as soon as we got opened up, everybody just drove right past me like I was standing still. Always fun. Uh, I suspect some of y'all missed some flags and still I finished behind you. Or right there with you. Fucking awful. Oh, well. What can you do? thing you could do with this car would be find a different class to tune it to. It's not going to be competitive here in a fast track. Mm. 
Maybe the thing to do would be make a rally to an event. The only options for the suspension besides the stock trend uh, suspension was a rally suspension. Again, it's super lightweight. Fucking hit a tree. Who knows? Why is it taking so long? There we go. Club Bamberg Lake District, five miles. Uh, I'm gonna give it one more try. Hopefully, you can find a track that's got some turns in it where this car will be competitive. If we got something with some turns in it, I'll be able to keep up. Otherwise, it's just not gonna be competitive. So, we'll do one race, see how it goes, and then I'll back out of the online race section of it. Uh, Explore the summer Forza um, playlist a little bit more. Try and get up to 80%, I suppose. Man, I like this car. I wish it was more competitive. It's such a cool looking car. Light storm. I'm gonna have to turn my Xbox off. Come on, at least let me get one more race before I gotta turn it off. Slow day today. Oh, here's somebody else. Must be in the matchmaking finally. Still in a freaking menu, not being able to see anybody else.
It should not take this long. I don't know what's going on. There must be something wrong with my internet today. This is crazy long. By the time we get into a race, I'm gonna have to fucking quit. So I'm going to end the broadcast. Uh, thanks everybody for watching. We'll check back in with this tune later. Uh, it seems to run good. I uh, checked it to comparable S1s. The 0 to 60, 0 to 100 times are actually good, but the top speed is a bit slower than it should be. So we'll check back in with it later. Thanks for watching. There we go.